And I would like to just spend just a couple of minutes uh, giving you a little perspective uh, on how you might think about, about uh, investments as opposed to the uh, uh, tendency to focus on what's happening today or even this minute as you go through. And to help me in doing that, I'd like to go back through a little personal history and, uh, and we will start. I have here, <clears throat> I have here a New York Times of March 12, 1942. Um, I'm a little behind on my reading. Um, the, um, <clears throat> and if you go back to that time, <clears throat> It, uh, it was about, but just about three months uh, since we got involved in a war which uh, we were losing at that point. Uh, the newspaper headlines were filled with bad news from the Pacific, and I've taken just a couple of the headlines from the days preceding March 11th, which I'll explain is kind of a momentous day for me. And so you can see these headlines. Uh, we've got slide two up there, I believe. Uh, and uh, we were in trouble, big trouble, in the Pacific. Uh, There's only going to be a couple months later that the Philippines fell, but here we were getting bad news. We might go to slide three for March 9th. Uh, uh, I hope you can read the headlines anyway. The price of the paper is three cents, incidentally. Um, the, uh, and uh, uh, let's see, we've got March 10th up there, a slide. I'm, I, when I get to with this advanced technology of slides, it's, uh, I want to make sure I'm showing you the same thing that I'm seeing in front of me. Uh, so anyway, on March 10th, uh, when again, the news was bad. Full clearing path to Australia, and it was like, it, uh, uh, the stock market had been reflecting this, and I'd been watching a stock uh, called City Service Preferred Stock which had sold at $84 the previous year. It had sold at $55 the year before, early in, the, in January, two months earlier. And now it was down to $40 on March 10th. So that night, despite these headlines, I said to my dad, I said, I think I'd like to pull the trigger. And uh, I'd like you to, to uh, buy me three, sh three shares of City Service Preferred the next day. And that was all I had. I mean, that was my capital accumulated uh, uh, over the previous five years or thereabouts. And so my dad the next morning um, bought three shares. Well, let's take a look at what happened the next day. Let's go to the next slide, please. And uh, it was not a good day. Uh, uh, the stock market, the Dow Jones Industrials broke 100 on the downside. Now, they were down 2.28%, as you see, but that was the equivalent of about a 500-point drop now. So I am in school wondering what is going on, of course. Uh, incidentally, you'll see on the left side of the chart, the New York Times put the Dow Jones Industrial Average below all the averages they calculated. They, they had their own averages, which have since disappeared, but the Dow Jones has continued. So the next day, uh, uh, we can go to the next slide, and you will see what happened. The stock that was at 39, my dad bought my stock right away in the morning, because I'd asked him to, my three shares. And uh, so I paid the high for the day, that 38 and a quarter. Uh, was my tick, which is the high for day. And by the end of the day, it was down to 37, uh, which was really 
kind of characteristic of my timing in stocks that was going to appear in future years. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, it was on the, what was then called the New York Curb Exchange, then became the American Stock Exchange. Uh, but things, even though the war until the Battle of Midway looked very bad, and uh, if you'll turn to the next slide, please, you'll see that uh, the stock did rather well. I, you can see where I bought it, 38 and a quarter. And then the stock went on actually to eventually be called by the city service company for over $200 a share. But this is not a happy story, because if you go to the next page, you will see that I... <laughs> well, as I always say, it seemed like a good idea at the time. You know, <laughs> uh, so I sold I made $5 on it. It was, it was again, typical of <laughs> the behavior. But uh, when you watch it go down to 27, uh, you know, it looked pretty good to get that profit. Well, what's the point of all this? Well, we can leave behind the city service story. And uh, I would like you to, again, imagine yourself back on March 11th of 1942. And as I say, things were looking bad in the European theater as well as what was going on in, in the Pacific. But everybody in this country knew uh, America was going to win the war. I mean, it, 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 it was, you know, we'd gotten blindsided, but, but we were, we were going to win the war. And, and we knew that the American system had been working well since 1776. So 